All right, the first thing we're going to want to do to these is paint the gums. So I'm just going to get a paintbrush here. It doesn't really matter which one, whatever feels good to you. It's just fine. There we go. And I'm going to take a bit of this pink color here, put it over here, a little bit of white into it, mix that up a bit, a little bit more white, a little bit of that black and dull that down, give that a really good zombie sort of tone to it. Maybe a little bit more black, just dull it right down and it'll turn to sort of a, almost a purpley gray color. There. And now we are just going to fill in all back here. Like that. I think I'm going to put a little bit more of that pink in. There we go. Take that down. Yeah, that's better. And then into here. Don't worry if you go over his teeth because we can clean those up afterwards. So we're going to fill in that part. And then we are going to fill in this part here. Take your time and go around those teeth. But if you go over them just a little bit, it doesn't matter. There we go. We'll just set that over here and let it dry. I'll do this part first on this one. It's easier to hold on to that way. Just make sure you get all the gums covered in that pinky color. Inside. set of zombie teeth started. This should be dry enough now for a second coat. So we can do a second coat on the front. We don't have to do it on the inside, but it's good to have two coats on the front. Good. Now we want those to dry for a little bit. And while 
we're waiting for them to dry, I'm just going to put a little bit of this sand color out here. And then you can get a smaller paintbrush. It dries quite quickly. And we're going to give our zombie teeth paint now. So I'm just take a bit of white, mix it into that sand color, lighten it up just a little bit. We don't want him to really have white teeth. Actually, I think I'll blow dry that. Bet you never thought that was something you'd be doing. Okay, I'm going to just carefully paint his teeth in here. And I'm kind of pushing it up into the gum line. So I preserve the shape of his teeth there. If you go over into the pink, don't worry about it. You can always put some more paint on it. See, I'm just pushing the brush up against his gums there. There, now he's got some kind of yellowed teeth. And I'll flip it around, and on this side we don't have to be nearly as careful. Because we won't be able to see this, because his teeth will be closed. There we go. A little bit more up in there. Now you can really see all these little bubbles and stuff that were in the cement. These are fantastic because they look like cavities and rotten teeth. There we go, that's good. And then we'll do the same thing on this set. Just pushing the brush up to the gum there. And then back on the other side as well. There we go. Now I'll give him one more coat here. And it's kind of nice if we go through with this one and we just kind of change the color slightly. Just kind of brush it in here and there. Just add that little bit more white to it. And then back in the back. There we go. And one more time on this one. These dry super fast. And there, that's good. Now I'm going to give this a good blow dry. And we'll stick them together like that. Stand them up like this and blow dry them at the same time. Now, these look pretty snazzy. I need to dull them down a bit and grunge them up a bit. So I'm going to do that by taking some water. That's just some dirty water there. 
a little bit of water. Mix it with my black paint. And I'm just going to paint all over the top like that with watery black. Make sure you get it in all those little holes in his teeth and down the crevices. Back. And that sort of rub it in down those cracks. That was looking pretty disgusting. I think I'll do that inside here too because I might as well. A little bit more up here. Make sure it's really down in those cracks. And in all of the holes. There. Now I'll just take my cloth. wipe them off a bit and all that black sticks in the stays in the crevices and looks disgusting here we go I think we'll do another coat why not work it right in there you can do this as many times as you like until you get the effect you want Now, oh, that's looking good. There, looks pretty zombie like. Definitely, I'll do the same thing on this side, just a little bit watered down black paint. Put on a couple of coats, work it right in. There we go. Wipe it off again. back in with another one. I like to really work it in these cracks in his teeth here. Especially in those little holes. I'm going to dab that off. Make sure they're fairly evenly filthy. There. I think I might take another little bit of paint. And just maybe just a tiny, tiny bit lighter. I'm just going to brush over them like this. Brighten that up just a little bit in some spots. And there we have it. Those are disgusting. Just what we want. I'll dry them again. A little tiny bit more of that black. Work it in up here a little bit. Right along the gum line. Now you can keep working and working and working on, on these until they get exactly the way you want them to. That's good. Doesn't take very much paint at all, and it certainly doesn't take very much time. So at this stage, I'll give it one more blow dry. I'll 
All right, let's stick this together. I think I'm going to go for the Freddie Mercury look here. I'm just going to glue those back molars together and then I'll just line them up and whoops let them do their thing here there keep my uh I'll keep that handy because we'll need it again so now is that stuck? Almost cooled. Now this is what makes them look really creepy. I think, anyway. I'm going to take the clear nail polish. And I'm going to give it a really good coat of nail polish. And it shines it all up, makes it look like spit or zombie drool. There you go. Really get that in there. I don't think you can put too much on. And I also do the gums. There we go. And then all these bottom gums. And you can put a couple of coats of this on. Oh, that is suitably disgusting. There we go. Okay. So now we can set this aside and let that nail polish dry. And we can mix up our cement. I have my bag of cement here. And I'm going to mix right in here. So we're just going to put a little bit of water in here at a time. I've got maybe four tablespoons I just poured in. I'm just gonna work it around in the bag like this. And pour some more in. Just do a little bit at a time because cement's a funny thing. You think you don't have enough water and then you start mixing it and it gets wet really fast. Still got lots of cement in this corner. Just knead that all up. If you get this too wet, you can always um, just let it sit for a little bit. A little bit more water. Maybe I'll zip that up. ourselves a good mix. Oops. Make a mess. So it's quite, it's like porridge. Now if I were to try to put this on my zombie right now, it would run right off. But I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes like that roll that down a bit let that sit like that for a little bit I'm going to get some of this out Tin foil. I'm 
and we're going to make put a little cap on top of our teeth. It's dry pretty fast. Like this. And we're going to make a cap for the bottom. Like that. And just form your tin foil around your rock like this. So you're closing off the back of your um, of your zombie here. You're closing off the underneath. Like that. Then I'm just going to anchor down some of these little bits that are sticking up and anywhere I think that it might put a patch on that. The cement likes to hold on to this stuff too, which is really nice. There we go. I'll pack that down around. This is, this is looking pretty good. So this is this is pretty good now. So I can put some of this on. See if this is like I can pick it up. Well, it might be actually a little bit loose still. I'll take this and I'm going to just lay it right along here. Don't worry about getting it onto your teeth because we'll look after that afterwards. Going to cover up all of the tin foil. Let's start around the mouth first. You'll want to probably put gloves on. I never use gloves when my hands get all dried out. Lay it all on and make sure you've got no tin foil showing. And I overlap onto those gums. And it starts to harden up fairly quickly, but you still do have quite a bit of working time with this. I'm just gonna take my paintbrush I'm just going to sort of move this cement away from the teeth. And if I'm if I have a little bit of water on those teeth, the cement doesn't want to stick. So I'll just push this around. This is when you're just basically going to just uh, you know model it. And there we go. Push it away from those gums. Make sure the gums, there is some up over the gums, though. There we go. And I'll just continue on here. Just putting it on. Scooping it up and putting it on.
first off, I just like to make sure all of the tin foil is covered. And then I'm just gonna set it down for a few minutes, usually on the back like this. And give it a couple of minutes just to kind of harden up a little bit. And we're not quite done, we've still got some more to go on. But I kind of like to go in his mouth here now and just run a little bit of water on his teeth, push his gums up if they need to be pushed up again. Let that cement do its thing for a minute or two. I'm gonna roll this stuff in so that I can reach the rest of it. So if I went into the cement and I started mushing it around again like this, it'll soften up again, like it'll turn almost liquid. So, We've got quite a bit of working time with it, and this will start to get um, hot as it dries too, or as it as it cures, I guess is what it's doing. I'm just gonna roll them around here. I guess at this point too, if you want to look at, you know, how you want your your uh, zombie rocks sitting, do you want them sitting facing facing you or facing away? Because you can flatten out just that back area there by putting them like that. This one's going to go this way. Just going to do a little bit of a gumectomy there. Push this back in because we've got lots of teeth. He can have quite a smile, actually. There we go. A grinning zombie. Why not? Just push that around a bit. Okay, I've got a little bit more, might as well use it. Pack it in down here. And up here a bit. That should be quite good. I'm just going to tap them here until the lines are gone. Roll them around a bit. So it's still moving quite a bit on the rock or on the on the zombie here. Move that over there a little bit. And when you're happy with the shape. You're going to put them down in the angle you want them at, and then you're just going to let him dry or cure. You can get rid of that. And then we'll wait for the next step. All right, our little friend here has hardened up considerably. He's not completely cured yet. He'll be very, um, he'll get fairly hot, and he'll get um, quite a lot lighter colored than this. But we can get in, I'm just gonna use my old toothbrush here, my old painting toothbrush. I'm just gonna get in and just kind of clean up around his teeth a bit because there'll be little bits of cement in there. Yes. This actually feels quite weird when you do this. So I'm just gonna do that, brush his teeth a bit. And I like to give him a little dry off here. And take a look at them now and see if you want to put any more 
any more details in. I'm thinking I might put a little bit of detail in his, in between his teeth. I think that would be quite nice. So I'm just going to take some of my black paint. And I'm going to go down in between here. And I'll wipe it off a bit. Just like that. It doesn't take a whole bunch. And it's quite nice if you go back in here too. Any of those rotten spots that are broken off in his teeth, those are good to fill. That little bit of black paint. Like that. So back there. And if he has any down here, I think I'll put a little bit. A little bit in here. Maybe a wee bit there hole right there to fill in and a bit right here too there we go blacken that tooth a bit yes that is looking sufficiently disgusting there we go I also like to go down into this area right at the side of his mouth in here and darken that you can do that with your flat paintbrush. I'm just going to pop in here, scramble that around in there a little bit. Like that. Just kind of working that in. Now, what I like to do at this point here, I'm going to take my spray bottle and just that little piece of kitchen sponge, a little bit of water here on my palette. And I'm going to make a watery black here. There we go. And I'm going to kind of brush it all over my zombie. Spray it on him. Like that. Just getting some a little bit more interest in that rock because it's it's uh, cement and cement's just one color. So it's nice if we can if we can give it a bit more of a natural rock look. I'll rub it around a bit. Get that in there. Now he's still quite quite wet, like he's not cured yet. There we go. Rub that around a bit. I'll look at my dry now. There we go. That gives him a little bit more of a real rock look. But we're going to take that one step further. I'm just going to put some more water in that black. Scramble it around in there a bit. Like that. Tap it off a bit. And then I'm going to flick some splatters and some splotches all over my zombie rock. bit more on there. There we go. Now I'll turn them over a bit. Get the bottom part of them. There we go. I'm just kind of roll them around in my hands a bit here. We just want to grubby them up. Get them grubbier. There we go. Almost done. Give his teeth another good polish here. My cloth. I'm going to 
put one more coat of uh, nail polish on his teeth. I'm gonna rub over him a bit like this. You see, some of that comes off and some stays behind. It gives him a really rocky look. There, a little bit on there. There we go. Now we'll go back and really make sure his teeth are clean before I put the varnish on them. There we go. Now I'll give him a good tooth polish. I'm going to use lots because it's nice when you have a bit of zombie drool. The contrast is really good between the rough of the stone and the shine and smoothness of his teeth. There we go. One more zombie. Pretty darn disgusting. Now I can feel him heating up right now. And so this won't be cured for, it'll be hard, well it's hard now, but it won't be really fully cured for a couple of days. So uh, put him to the side and figure out where you're gonna put him afterwards.